Volunteer crews here in San Diego are mobilizing tonight as well. They told our 10 News reporter Nate Holmes how they're preparing for the hurricane that could produce historic destruction. Relief plans are already in place. Crews from the American Red Cross here in San Diego are making their way to the southeastern part of the country. I spoke with San Diegans who are also already there who are making sure that others get out of the storm safely. It's the calm before the storm. This is video from San Diegan and lifeguard Zach Lobish, who is working on the outer banks of North Carolina. It's a very slow progression as far as the wind goes. It's not, it doesn't happen immediately. It's a couple of days and it just gets stronger and stronger until you have to go inside and it's 100 mile an hour winds. Lobish says neighbors in the area can expect at least two to three feet of flood water after Florence hits. They are ready to help those in need. We have kayaks, stand up paddle boards, surfboards, boats, jet skis. The lifeguards also gathered relief supplies. We've been kind of collecting food from the restaurants all closed down and they kind of get rid of their stash. About 1500 Red Cross volunteers are heading to the area, including some from San Diego. So we've already sent out 13 people. So we have nine people who are out in Virginia and then another four who are in North Carolina. Red Cross crews will help with relief efforts during and after the storm. Managing the warehouse efforts, making sure that we're able to get supplies where they're needed to be and also volunteers who are um, fulfilling the role of distributing emergency supplies. Crews are prepared to be there up to two weeks after the powerful hurricane clears. Nate Holmes, 10 News.